Hey, what is up guys? It's Brennan here and today we're gonna to be taking a look at Square payment links, how to create them, send them, and what they are within the Square platform. So again, before we dive into things, of course, I do want to mention if you have not already signed up with Square and you are interested in getting signed up with them, you can go and check out that first link down below in the description. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Square. Take you right over to Square where you can get started for free today with Square. Again, that's that first link down below. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial and overview of, again, Square payment links. So what are Square payment links? They are essentially payment links that you can easily quickly set up and send that single link out in order to get paid for products. Uh, in your business, whether it be for your uh, online store, donations, uh, services, there's a wide variety of different products and services that you can actually sell uh, through Square Payment Links, which can be a very easy way for you to go ahead and get paid in your business. It's a much simpler version of invoicing in a way uh, that you can easily and quickly send to your customers uh, in order to get paid for your products and or services as well. Again, this works great for service-based businesses too. Um, so again, just showing you, and also as well, if I have not already mentioned, it is free to get started with. There is, however, a small fee uh, worth mentioning as well in terms of what you are going to pay to process those payments. Again, you're going to be paying a payment processing fee no matter what company you go with. Um, and it is there is still no monthly fees uh, with Square's payment links. Uh, so again, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to get started with it and showing you, uh, walking you through step by step what it looks like to create a payment link as well and all the types of payments you can actually accept with Square's payment link services. Again, right now the processing fee is 3.3 plus 30 uh, cents, 3.3% .3 plus 30 cents per online transaction. Uh, again, you're going to be paying a processing fee no matter what company you go with. Um, but there is no monthly fee to get started with it. So that is pretty nice. So uh, once you go ahead and you know get signed up with Square, again, you can use the first link down below in the description, or maybe if you already have an account, uh, you've gotten started for free. Next, you're going to be here on the Square dashboard. So to access the payment links, um, once you've already signed up with Square, you have a business account with them. Uh, what you're gonna do is come down here uh, to the left hand side and select payments. Once you are under payments, then you're going to go to payment links uh, and then you can create a new payment link. So this is what it will look like. Uh, again, you have a few different options for the payment links within Square, right? You can just take a straight up payment uh, to your business. You can set it up that way and you enter in an amount. Um, you know, you can take a payment and it will have your customer enter the payment. Um, you know, based on the payment email. So you can take a payment, um, you can sell a specific item. Um, so in this case, it may be some organic body butter um, and you can get it, you know, how to get it there. This is what your customer will see, right? This is sort of like your logo, uh, what your customer will see, uh, the information they can select a size, shipping, you know, pickup uh, and multiple even, and then they can check out right there. So you can send them like an item link uh, again, like I showed you the payment link as well, that's sort of more like an invoice. Uh, you can also sell an event or class. So you can send them like an event link, um, like a boot camp, for example, if you have like a fitness um, business, um, you have that set up there. Uh, or you can also just accept a donation. Uh, you know, for example, this might be for a fundraiser. Uh, and so you can also do that as well. So if you're raising like a thousand dollar goal, um, you know, you can set like a, a specific goal amount for your donations. Uh, and then you, you can have the customer enter in their donation, am donation amount and then check out and the payment will be, you know, securely processed through Square. So we're gonna go ahead uh, and select the first option here of just taking a payment. Again, you have the option for donations, selling events or classes or a specific item. Um, the item you will need to set up in your storefront uh, ahead of time. Um, same thing with the event or class, um, but so we're just going to go ahead with taking a payment to keep it pretty simple um, for this tutorial. Um, so you go ahead and enter the title here. We're going to maybe say it's like house cleaning services or something like that. Um, that's definitely something I could personally use at the moment. Uh, <laughs> uh, frequency, you can set this up to be, you know, monthly um you know weekly or a one time right this is to send to your customer so maybe you are the business offering the house cleaning services is sort of what the, this setup is it's basically like a way to do a quick and easy invoice in my opinion that's sort of what i like the payment links for 
as just a very simple invoice. Um, instead of having to like type up all the other specifics, the payment links are just a very easy way to go about doing that. You can also type in a description. Again, that is optional. Uh, you don't necessarily have to type in a description if you don't want to. Again, you can also make this recurring. So you can set up as a one-time payment, weekly, every other week, monthly, quarterly, twice a year, annually, depending on how often you want to collect you know, payment from your customers for this specific payment link. Um, that you're sending them. Maybe if you want to set up like recurring billing and things like that. If you're going to be going the more comp complex route, in my opinion, I would probably recommend doing invoicing over payment links. But uh, you know, whatever's easier for your customers or for you and your business, you can do whatever you want there. You do have that option. You can also, you know, set up any amount um, or a specific amount. Again, a specific amount would more so be like, hey, you know, you did like $200 worth of cleaning services. Uh, and you're billing them for that. So you can set up the specific amount uh, as well. Any amount works maybe if you have things being a little bit more flexible uh, and you're just sending them the link for them to send you, like they can type in the amount. Um, you can you know set it up as either way. So you can set up any amount or an exact amount. Uh, again, you can then set up the how often you want it to be um, billed or you know adding a description you can also upload an image here so maybe if you do have you know some sort of invoice or something like you want to attach uh, to that image again square does have their whole invoicing service separate from payment links um, so if you do want to do that you know maybe do it that way or just do it right here uh, as well or maybe you have image of the work that was completed or something like that right so you really have options here in terms of what you want to include you also have a custom field so you can add in uh, custom fields here in terms of like you know, extra things here <laughs> in terms of like, um, you know, like uh, house or something. I don't know. Uh, and then they can type in things like that. So let's just type in type in uh, house here. Uh, and as you can see over here, then it's a required field uh, for them to type that in. So maybe if they have multiple houses or something like that, you want them to type in which house they're paying for. Um, you know, you can also ask a question here too, if you want, like, like, how did we do or something like that? And then they can type in their feedback here, uh, in that required field, you know, to get that information from the customer. So you do have quite a lot of flexibility here on these payment links, really uh, nice on squares end that you can, you can do that too. You can also set up coupons and things like that, um, as well as tipping. So tipping is great as well as, you know, a form of just, hey, if you want to offer the ability for your customer to tip, uh, yeah, they can tip 25% extra 50 bucks, um, you know, if, you know, or they can tip 30, you know, 20, whatever. You can also add those, the famous add a tip little spin the thing around and click a tip button. You can also add that here on your uh, payment links, you know, whether or not you want to have that enabled is up to you. Um, but you can also charge, you know, and or not technically charge a tip, but leave the option for customers to also add a tip if it makes sense in your industry. Again, I know tipping culture is completely out of control here in the United States. Um, so do use that at your discretion as far as if you want to add the ability uh, for tips or no tips. Again, depending on your industry and what actual you know, services or products that you're actually offering your customers or whether or not it makes sense. Again, you can turn it on or off uh, if you want uh, here. Uh, you also have the ability to redirect to a website after checkout. Uh, so you can, s you know, send them to a specific page. Maybe if you have a thank you page or something else like that, uh, that you have set up, or maybe you want to just redirect them to your social media or something like that. Any of the option is up to you as far as if you want to redirect people, uh, you can set up a website URL redirect, uh, which can be nice uh, if you want that on your payment links, right? So you have confirmations of, you know, redirects, tipping, the custom fields, images, descriptions. So once you've kind of gotten your overall uh, setup, you know, you'll see the confirmation page. This is what the confirmation page will look like. Uh, so it'll show the summary, uh, what they paid, their, you know, contact information, and then the, the custom field response, like to the, as you can see, custom field response as to how do we do? Uh, and that is what it looks like on mobile. This is sort of, this is what it would look like on desktop. I get most people are probably just gonna be doing this through their phone. Uh, and then you just click save. And once you have saved it, then you can easily go here and copy that link. Uh, you can email or text it to people directly here within the Square dashboard. You can set up a QR code too. 
Um, so that could be great. Maybe if you're doing like a printable or some sort of marketing material um, or something maybe on your business card as like a quick, easy, like here's the link for a specific thing that I'm selling um, you know, or just email and text your customers. So you go ahead and create, create the payment link, sort of almost like an invoice. Uh, and then you send it out to them. So that's another way to go about doing things. Again, it is pretty customizable here within Square for the Square payment links as far as how you want to go ahead and get them set up. Uh, you could also set up like buy buttons and things like that. Um, and all you have to do is then copy this link uh, and you know it will you know take people to that page uh, and they can go ahead and you know go through that payment link. And as you can see here, this is where the total sales will populate as far as recent sales and things like that. Uh, you can send the link, create a QR code, copy the link, uh, and easily share it right here within your dashboard. You can view all your payment links that you currently have active. You can go in and go back and edit them as well. Um, you know, delete, deactivate them. You can also customize the checkout button here too, uh, if you would like to do that. Again, edit the details, things like that. Um, and really, you know, customize it to your heart's content. So again, guys, that is essentially how to set up payment links, what they look like uh, within Square. It's pretty quick and easy to set up, in my opinion. Definitely recommend giving them a shot if you are sort of on the fence. And but that's pretty much how you do it. So again, guys, if you have not already signed up with Square and you are interested, again, you can go and check out that first link down below in the description. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Square. Take it right over to Square where you can go ahead and get signed up for free with Square so that you can go ahead and start making cool, easy payment links uh, such as this easy you know, house cleaning services payment link. So again, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and the notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. But again, guys, that is all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.